This game almost went out a disaster, man. Almost. But thanks to my unmatching skill, <laughs> check <-hate. laughs> I was able to turn it around. <laughs> nah, seriously though. I don't know. I almost lost this one, but yeah, let's see what how it turns out this game. <laughs> it's a really interesting one. So as you can see, he leads off Charizard and Pachirisu. As I lead off with my Gastrodon and Kangaskhan now. I'm not really afraid of a Solar Beam from that Charizard because I do have that Rindaberry on my Gastrodon and Solar Beam is on stat, so I should be fine I think. Or I, or I thought I would be. So what about my previous thoughts were is that I really need to take care of that patchy reason because I gotta stop those in the back. So I immediately double edge and or fake out and earth powered it. I don't really know, I didn't look at the screen. <laughs> and yeah, to weaken it, I guess I faked it out, but I don't know. <laughs> and now he brings in his nine tails and I'm I think what what am I doing? Yeah I'm protecting my gastrodon to save it to kind of predicting a switch out and a um, what's it called a solar beam so, and I also double edge the nine tails because I thought I really thought I, he would switch it up but as you can see that double edge recoil is really um, bearing down my Kangaskhan and I can get off one more double edge before his solar power um, powered heat wave will knock out my Kangaskhan let's see is he life or I don't remember, but he does burn me, which is really bad. Let's see. No, he isn't. And here comes the solar solar beam. Now, after this super powerful heat wave or from that Charizard, my Gastrodon won't be able to take a a solar beam anymore. So I'm up four to two. It's really not looking good because two fire types in Sun. Really, that's really powerful. But thankfully, he isn't my max speed or he is in his modest with these two. Now we have four base 100 mons here but I have two speed increasing nature mons on here. And thankfully has the sun up because because my fire blast and heat wave will be able to knock get a double knockout here. Yeah thankfully that sun is up so my fire boosts are powered up. Alternatively, I could have thunderbolted the nine tails and hard blasted the Charizard, but I thought this was a little bit safer just in case it switches out. Yeah, into Pachirisu because I really didn't want to thunderbolt the Pachirisu because I've done so. I've sacrificed both of my mons to get this damage off on the Pachirisu. Now here, thankfully, I do have the focus sash on my on my Salamence, otherwise I probably would have lost this game. And I can I am able to fire blast this patchy resu to knock it out and just in case fire blast missed or couldn't knock it out I went with heat wave on my Zapdos and look at how much damage this does to the Gardevoir, like 40%. That's quite respectable damage. Granted it is boosted by sun, but you know what I mean. Now here he kind of makes a mistake I guess, but no he really no it doesn't because he couldn't have won this game either way. Like I had two ones, he had one one. I fire blast and here I thunder wave it just to cripple it his car because it is obviously scarfed as beating my Salamence and shit. So yeah. That's that will lead the game. I hope you had fun. I had my fun because it was really nerve wracking going down four two or two four and then taking it back with these two mons man. Damn, Salamence and Zapdos, they're beasts. What you wanna do? Anyway, see you tomorrow. Goodbye. <laughs>